Hi there, this video is going to show you how to create a color wheel in Adobe Illustrator. It's just an introductory lesson to help teach you a little bit about color theory and the color wheel. So to begin, create a new Illustrator document that is US letter size. And what we're going to be using is three different shapes to produce three different types of color families. Uh, the first one is going to be doing our primary colors. So choose any shape tool and create one shape first, make it the primary red, and then you can copy and paste that by holding down the option key, clicking and dragging, um, or you can do command V to copy, command V to paste, and then you're just going to paste that shape three times and change the color so we see the primary colors red, yellow, and blue. The next step is going to be choosing a different shape. In this instance I was choosing a circle. You can copy and paste that circle three times and you're now going to be creating secondary colors. Secondary colors is what happens when you mix two primary colors together. So you have orange, green, and purple as your secondary colors. The final step is simply going to be create a third shape. And this third shape is going to be used for what's called tertiary colors. Tertiary colors are colors that are formed when mixing a primary color with a secondary color. So in this instance, we're changing this to a an orange-red or a red-orange, however you want to call it. And then we'll have an orange-yellow or a yellow-orange, a yellow-green or a green-yellow, a blue-green or a green-blue, a blue-purple or a purple-blue, and then finally a purple-red or red-purple, so on and so forth. So you might need to change the colors a few times as you do this. Um, from the, the color picker, just keep clicking up and down through the spectrum of colors and then find those colors that work well for your eyes. They don't have to be perfect, they don't have to match mine exactly. We all see colors very differently. Um, but we're going to learn that once we know the color wheel and we know the different color combinations that we can choose from. Um, there's going to be certain colors that work better than others. Here's our final shape and our final color. Just make it a little more red, a little bit brighter. There we go. So when you are all done with your colors and they, they look good to you, there should be kind of a smooth transition from one shape to the next. Um, then you're ready to save it. Let's name it. Um, in this case, I'm putting my name on the top, calling it Josh Eckendorf's Color Wheel. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then finally, we are also going to label what our shapes are. So I'll just go back and use the text tool and type that my squares equal primary colors. And the next step, my circles represent secondary colors. And then finally, my hexagons represent tertiary colors. That's it. Once you have that done, go ahead and save it. File Save As. Name that file, color wheel, and your name. Save it in the Creative Clouds folder or wherever you want to save it on your computer. And change that format to Adobe PDF. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this teaches you a little bit about colors and helps you understand that there's 
different names for different types of colors on the color wheel. If you enjoyed this video, please click like or subscribe.